The way that Jeff farms is sustainable. He uses this system that's called BioFlock, and he also recycles his water, which means that there is virtually no runoff that he has to dispose of. There are two basic theories on raising shrimp. There is clear water shrimp, basically long troughs, and you're constantly filtering out water. We did research that. There was a couple problems with that. First, there was a byproduct that you had to work with afterwards, uh, basically shrimp waste and old shrimp feed that wasn't getting used up. Uh, you also had filters constantly running, electricity use, expensive. So we went with a form what's called BioFlock. We've been working on this for seven years. There's bacteria everywhere. And what we've done is cultured what's called heterotrophic bacteria. Our heterotrophic bacteria is an animal. Guess what it likes to eat? It likes to eat waste. So every day we're doing our tests, making sure that we are in check, making sure that there is no waste in our tanks because my heterotrophic bacteria is consuming it. I think a lot of folks, when they come through, they're probably like, why is the water brown? Is it dirty? But it's not. It's just from like the feed that you're giving. Is that right? Most of the brownness comes from the feed yep. that they eat combined with my heterotrophic bacteria or bioflock that's in the water, which is the white fluffy stuff that keeps moving. When we do drain a tank and take it to the bottom, there is nothing on the bottom. That's amazing. And so the magic of bacteria, like they're in there eating all the shrimp poop, poop. essentially. Yeah. So that keeps it naturally clean mm -hmm. and you have very few inputs. Exactly. And that's on a cost side for us. If mother nature can do the job, let her Why do not it. Let her, yeah. Let her do it.